Alrighty, back again. Um, this one's a quick one. Uh, simply a better way of changing the camera lens than what I had in the previous tutorial. Um, so obviously what we did was we just uh, wrote out all of the, cus the uh, default uh, lens presets here and then changed between them, um, which works fine, especially if you just want those presets. Um, but that doesn't give us a lot of flexibility. Um, and so our good friend, who I still can't pronounce his name, um, I don't know why he's not doing tutorials because he's obviously a lot better than them uh, at this than I am, but um, had suggested a solution to that. Um, so, we are going to look at that really quickly. Um, so this is just uh, a quick test uh, project that I've set up, um, but obviously this can just be integrated into the um, virtual production uh, sort of project that you've been setting up if you've been following along with the tutorials. Um, so what, how we do this, um, is quite simple. So last we had a look, um, so we just type, sort of type set lens, um, but there weren't these many uh, actions for the camera lens or the cine camera actor. Like if I, there's not that many. And so I was like, how are we going to do this? Um, again, hidden in the uh, mess that is this blue print editor, I guess. Uh, if you disable context sensitive and then have another look, um, which I, for some reason didn't do. Um, they're actually, they're not even under cine camera, but if we have a look, we can actually type set lens and we get these, which is under class and then cinema camera component. I don't know why they would be there. They're really hard to find. Um, and then we also have like a uh, focal length under here. I think we might even have focus. Uh, yeah, set focus. So it's a bit, um, uh, it's a bit, here they are. Um, so I'm a bit upset that Epic have hidden it from us. Um, but we're going to be using that to do this now. Um, and so I'm just going to quickly show you a better way of doing that. Um, so to start with, we're going to call our action we made, which I called change lens. There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that set, um, what is it called? Focal length. There we go. Set current focal length. So you can use this or you can use the set camera lens preset. Um, they work pretty interchangeably. It really depends. I like to personally change things like the f-stop and the focus in the sequence editor after I have recorded a take rather than while I'm record recording it. It's just one less thing to think about. Uh, you don't have to worry about like whether you've nailed it or not. Um, so it's up to you. So I'm just going to change the focal length, but if you want to do this, simply substitute it for the set, uh, set lens settings one instead. So when we press the change lens button, we want to obviously set the focal length. Uh, we are going to, as a target, so we're going to have to drag the cinema camera out, out as the target for this. Uh, like so. So next we need to set the focal length. Now we could just duplicate this a bunch of times and use the gate node like we did uh, last time, the multi-gate one, um, but there is a more efficient way of doing it. The reason we didn't do that is because the lens presets for the camera, uh, if I click on it, have an invalid decimal in there, like that's not allowed to be a variable. Um, we are not using those anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. So what we're going to do is create a new variable over here. Uh, we're going to call it uh, lens zoom. Why not? Um, over here, we want to switch that to a floating point number. Um, and then if you tick this little, or we'll click this little thing over here, we can actually make an array. So click that. Um, you have to compile it. And then down here, you will now have uh, these uh, array, um, what would you call it? Elements, array things. So uh, in here is just where you add all the uh, lens focal lengths you want. So I'm just going to enter all the ones I can uh, think of off the top of my head. Uh, so 12mm, 18mm, 24mm, 35mm, uh, 50mm, and a 
85 mil like so so next what we want to do is we're going to drag uh, our array out and we want to get it so we want to get the array and from here we want to get the um, so we want to drag it off and then enable context sensitive and then we want a get so we get a copy so what we want to do is we want to get a item out of the array um, and that item here is what we're going to set our current focal length to now um, what item that gets out of the array is determined by this number down here so each item in the array has its own index number so that's zero one two three four five um, and so changing this number to one of those numbers will get that specific item so what we also want to do is drag it off again and type in last and it get last index what this is going to do is this is simply going to return the value of the last item so in this case it'll be five um, if you had more lenses it would be high if you had less it would be less so now we know what the last item in the list is and we have a get node to get the current uh, item um, so what we want to do now is create another variable this time we are going to call lens index and we're going to set this one to an integer uh, and turn it off array we just want to set it to a single variable now we're going to drag it out here and we're going to get it like that um, and so this is simply going to store what lens we're currently on so we're going to plug this into here so if this is one then we want to get lens one um, next what we want to do is we want to type equals oh, that's plus equals twice and get equal integer and we want to put the last index in the top and the lens index in the bottom um, and so if what it outputs is a boolean so a yes or a no positive you know one zero whatever you want to however you want to think of it um, so if the current lens is the last lens then it'll output true if it the current lens is not the last lens then it'll output false next what we want to do is add a branch like so we want to drag that out here and just connect it up like that so and we want to plug this into here so if the current lens is the last lens it will return true the current lens is not the last lens it will return false so on the false what we want to add is a oh I've forgotten the name of it come on I was doing so well a oh we want to hit plus plus two pluses uh, that is star plus plus uh, and under there we can do an increment integer or increment int I think it stands for integer as it says there it adds one to the specific value we set so we do that and then we simply drag that in there so what we have now is uh, this node here says if the is the current lens the last lens in the list if no then add another number so it will change to the next lens and it keeps looping around and around so what happens when the last lens is uh, sorry what happens when the current lens is the last lens well we go through our true and what we want to do is we're just going to drag the lens index out and set it and uh, all we want to do is this set it to zero so we then go back to the start of the list and so that's how that works so we'll compile it and save it and we can test it so I will hit play got my Xbox controller uh, change the camera and as we we can set through all the lenses just like that so that's that's a better way of doing it obviously now we can then go in uh, we can click the float uh, and we can just add all the lenses we want with the very specific very specific um, what do you call it uh, with very specific you know sizes that you want for your uh, specific use case so this probably ended up being a wee bit longer than I would have oh 10 minutes not bad alrighty so yep all good so uh, simply substitute this uh, in for whatever we made in the previous one
which was a multi-gate and a bunch of copy-paste notes. Wasn't. Awesome.